we definitely living in the matrix. But you have to learn how to use that matrix to your advantage. That's what your life is about. It's just making this money so you can pay these bills. But have you fed your creativity? Have you fed your gifts? Whatever you do in life, whatever you want to be in life, it's joy and repetition. So when you do something over and over, you start to become that. So if I'm in the system just on a hamster wheel, you start to become that. Get on your own damn hamster wheel and start becoming what you want to become and see yourself doing so take them cycles, this everyday routine month, and start your own routines. Start even if you are working that job. We have all these hours or whatever, you know, time. Learn how to organize that time. You watching TV for like two hours because you tired, turn that shit off. Go focus on something else. Oh, you watching Netflix? Look at that time you could have been doing this and learning something or teaching yourself something, going to do something. For yourself is plan out your day learning how to take those cycles but use them for the benefit of yourself so instead of every day for, for instance i know i understand you know i understand people have to go to work make their money take care of whatever they got to take care of but it's like, okay, you, you working for money, but are you letting money control your life? So now that's what your life is about, it's just making this money so you can pay these bills. But have you fed your creativity? Have you fed your gifts? Whatever you do in life, whatever you want to be in life. I took that, seeing the cycles, and was like, okay, apply that to your gifts. I'm not going to work a nine to five. I'm going to work on me learning how to do this, learning how to do 20 splits at one time. Not one time, but, you know, do 20 splits, do it. I took all of that and put that cycle in there. So, okay, I wake up every day. I'm going to eat breakfast, whatever. Now I'm about to go rehearse in this room for a couple of hours. I'm about to put in my work. I'm going to practice. I'm going to do this and put those cycles on me because, like they say, it's joy and repetition. So when you do something over and over, you start to become that. So if I'm in the system just on a hamster wheel, you start to become that. Get on your own damn hamster wheel and start become, come, start becoming what you want to become and see yourself doing. Like I always tell people, we definitely living in the matrix. But you have to learn how to use that matrix to your advantage. So take them cycles, this everyday routine month, and start your own routines. Start even if you are working that job. We have all these hours or whatever, you know, time. Learn how to organize that time. You watching TV for like two hours because you tired, turn that shit off. Go focus on something else. Oh, you watching Netflix? Look at that time you could have been doing this and learning something or teaching yourself something, going to do something. For yourself is plan out your day you know do what you have to do and that's how you put yourself in a cycle to manifest everything you want because you like okay i know i would never when i first started my band i knew i wasn't about to just be able to pop up with 15 people and be like yep come on y'all let's no that was a process it started with me as one person with a vision and then being able to take those different pieces every day, doing the work, going to Craigslist to find different people, going around to open mics to talk to people, reaching out, hey, you want to be in this band? Making the music until I just kept pushing towards the vision and adding little pieces every day because I didn't give up that repetition and that cycle. So my life was about me on my own hamster reel doing what I want. And it's still on that, doing the manifest more and more of what I want in this reality instead of what somebody else want me to be doing as their little slave worker or some shit like that. So, mm. Just breathing that in. Man, that was feel a wave of, of bars. Man, if I was a rapper, <laughs> I'd just give me a beat and I'd just talk over it. <laughs> go right now. Let's go. Uh, um... That was beautiful. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing that. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. So many things to expound upon. I just want to piggyback off of how you said, like, and I don't know where I heard it. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it was either a YouTube video or it might have been a guest. So mm -hmm. It all gets blurred. I don't mm -hmm. know if it, 
I'm at a point where I don't know if I heard it from a yeah, guest on the podcast, a YouTube video, a Netflix, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But some, a very wise, multidimensional being said, changes happened in my life. Oh, no, it was, it was Marco. Shout out Marco from okay. last week. Okay. My okay. boy, yeah, he came to me. He literally said, I quote, he said, everything changed for me when I worked in my nine to five and I said, let me stop making somebody else's dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> Make my own mm-hmm. dream come true. Mm-hmm. And I love how you use the hamster yeah. wheel analogy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the hamster wheel by itself isn't bad. Mm-hmm. It's just that who's the hamster? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> am I over here running, doing something for you the whole time? Just because I want to make the, make this money, like no, I'm not finna. Like I and I've experienced working a job. Like I think we was talking about that. Experience. <clears throat> I've worked three nine to fives in my life, probably three or four, just because, and all in separate times because it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me at all. And people, you know, I used to be one of the people that had quit a job in an instant because I knew this ain't, I'm not doing this shit. And there'd be people, employees, to be mad. This how you gonna do us? You gonna just drop? Are uh, y'all the company? Uh, y'all run this company? Are y'all the business owners? Cause y'all really care about somebody else's stuff that it wouldn't give a damn if you quit or not, or you got hurt or passed away. They gonna find somebody else to take your place. So I'm not gonna waste my time doing that at all. You know, unless it's something that's feeding me, something that's, um, and when I'm saying feeding me, like feeding my soul, I wouldn't have a problem. Like, for instance, on the side, when I'm not performing and all that, I do backstage work. I do lighting. I do, you know, sound, you know, stage setup, all of that type of stuff, but it's still in my field. So it's like, okay, I'll make this bread from doing this, but I'm still in the field of what it's going to feed me. I can learn something from sitting here doing these lights and apply it to what I want to do in life. So you got to be strategic while you're moving through this life, really. You just got to be strategic with it. No matter what ups and downs, like I was saying earlier, staying grounded. No matter what get thrown at you, staying grounded and being strategic. What do you like to do? It's a job out there for you not like i said not saying jobs and nine to five is wrong because it's people who love to work a nine to five and that's cool if that's your cup of kool-aid then you do that well that's for me and my house <laughs> we're gonna do it another way so yeah <laughs>